Okay, guys, back again. I just wanted to walk you through some um, verses in the Revelation for all of those Christians out there who are getting their knickers in a knot. Um, reveal to you what the Word of God really is, and then um, it's over to the children. Yahweh is here for the children. He has said over and over and over, it's all about the children. And unless you become like a small child, you'll not see nor enter the kingdom of God. You must become like a small child, which means to humble yourself. Going to the Revelation, chapter 19, beginning from verse 10, reading, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus, worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Verse 11, And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. Twelve, his eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. Thirteen, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. 15. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, and he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. 16. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written. King of kings and Lord of lords. Okay, going back to verse 13. And he was clothed with a vesture, and his name is called the Word of God. That's a reference from the previous verse that says that no man, he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. So Christians, you've been expecting Jesus to front up again. No. Jesus knew as he was warning people at the time just before the cross that he would be coming back. It would be the soul of the Father again. He would be the Father and he would have a new name. And it was written so that only he would know it and kept hidden so it would not be corrupted or perverted by the writers of the Bible that have ensnared all mankind. His name is called the Word of God, capitalized, capital T-H-E, capital W-O-R-D, of God. It is the only reference in the Bible, and there's more than 40 of them. This is the only one where it is capitalized. What else gets capitalized but a name? It's in reference to his name, called the Word of God. The Word of God is Brian Leonard Golightly Marshall.